The most common reason I see people actually um, not making progress in the gym um, is probably one consistency. And I know no one wants to hear that, but it's consistently following a program. It's consistently showing up. It's consistently doing every set and rep. Uh, and now that's not sexy. I know it. Um, but how many people have said, oh man, my coach has six sets of four. I'll just do four sets, five sets and bounce. Hit those six sets, hit the accessories show up every day and just do, you don't have to do the maximum, just do the minimum. You do the minimum amount of work and you show up, you're gonna get better. Uh, number two is also not sexy. Uh, what's your food like? How consistent are you with your eating day in and day out? Not just weekdays, not just training days, not just pre-workout meal. You guys are real consistent with your Instagram selfies and your, your dry heaving pre-workout. Let's get that consistent with our nutri nutrition, our macro intake, um, eating some veggies, eating some fruits every single day, seven days a week and sleep. Not sexy, seven to eight hours. Obviously I know some people can, can function over, uh, over with a little bit less sleep, but the more you can do, the better you're gonna be. Um, Number three, I guess maybe is a slightly more sexy answer, but for strength and even hypertrophy, I find that the majority of people still don't have enough frequency. Now I'm not saying max out and squat your face off every single day, um, but you know, hitting a body part multiple times a week with adequate volume, especially in the strength game, is going to change your whole life. Now, when you first start it, you're gonna come back to this video and comment, Mike, you idiot, I tried to squat three times a week and I'm weaker. Well, we're, again, we're not maxing out three times a week, but if we're squatting three times a week and we have a heavy day, a medium day, a light day, or a speed day, a, a light day, and a heavy day, um, for the first three to maybe even eight weeks, depending on the athlete, depending on your training experience, your genetics, uh, how athletic you are, how strong you are, you may feel weaker session to session. You may feel weaker sessions, session to session. You're not going to be weaker, um, but you may not be able to represent your strength, show your strength with the poundage on the barbell the same way you want. Um, but what you will do after six to eight weeks is you'll find a groove. Some people call it the pocket. Some people call it flow. Some people call it chug and jam and tug and we can call it whatever we want, but you'll start to get yourself into better shape. Being able to handle that frequency, that volume, that stimulus takes time to adapt. Um, everyone's worried about being sore and worried about ice baths and, and, and vibrators in their pecs when they're benching too much. We don't want external sources to recover. We want our bodies to adapt. So if you're spending too much time with this recovery CBD oil vibrator on my titty, leg press every other day, whatever, weird methods, vibrating uh, electrical circuits on my quads, that's doing a recovery. We don't, we're not trying to represent our strength day in and day out. We're trying to adapt so we can get stronger over time and represent our strength on game day. Now, if you're Lance Armstrong and you got to bike hundred miles a day for five days because you're in a race, now we need to recover day to day. But in his training previous, the previous 12 months leading up to that race, he wants his body to adapt. You don't want to force recovery. Um, Hopefully that makes some sense, man. I know I just rambled a lot. Hopefully you dig something from there. It can help you guys in your goals. Leave your comments below. Be sure to like and follow on this thing. Subscribe, man. Show love. We're on TikTok, Instagram, jamming every day. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. New 3SB coming very soon. We will announce when we can. Stay up. Let's get it.